A Butler College prep basketball player is the first IHSA athlete to strike a name, image, and likeness deal. That's a big deal. Casey Cronus is live to tell us the details on this. Casey. Anthony and Sally, it took months before an agreement was reached between the junior point guard and the IHSA. That's because she is the first ever Illinois high school athlete to come to the association seeking an okay for this. 16-year-old Zamaya Walton, who plays basketball for the Butler College Prep Lynx, already has offers from 21 college basketball coaches. She's been playing the sport since she was a little girl. Walton's dad, who is her coach, surprised her with a shoot-away machine for her 12th birthday, and she's been using it ever since, tagging the company in videos she posts online. The training device allows players to run through an entire practice on their own. Well, Walton was recently approached by Shootaway with a formal deal. It took months to come to an agreement with the Illinois High School Association to ensure that eligibility rules weren't violated due to current name, image, and likeness limits. Now, the association is discussing a change to its bylaws that would increase those limits, allowing other athletes to benefit from similar opportunities. Those challenges of, of still you know, of course, maintaining the amateur aspect of high school athletics, but yet recognizing that students, um, much like they would go get a summer job and try to make money that, you know, we as an association and member schools maybe shouldn't be hindering students opportunities to make money. At first, it was kind of just coming like a hopefully this will work kind of thing because we didn't know any of the rules and they had kind of placed it, but it was like not set for real. Um, so I think after talking to them and seeing how they were like willing to kind of make it work, I think that it should be easier now for all other athletes since there's already been one, it'll be easier in the future. And I think that since there's so many brands and there's so many athletes, I think that anybody would be willing to give kids my age, younger or older, an opportunity to make a deal with the brand. Bylaw proposals are due to the IHSA by October 11th. Then the association will have meetings on this in November and could potentially vote on a change sometime in December. Reporting live from Butler College Prep, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.